Hello friends, welcome back to this session. Uh, in this session, we are going to create a Docker container for the Sonar Cube, and uh, this will be deployed on the Windows system. So uh, that's pretty much straightforward. But I want to explain you how we can write the Terraform code, which help us to create a Sonar Cube container. And with this, we'll also try to create a uh, Nginx container also, and this will help us to understand multiple containers how we can create. So first, uh, let's try to understand how we can create the Sonar Cube. So Sonar Cube basically we have to use the Docker image, which image we have to refer here. I'm using the Sonar Cube latest, and to deploy, uh, we have to use the Docker container. So this will create a Docker container from the image, and this will basically mapping the port internal action and 9000, 9000. Okay, this is the basic uh, container creation. I'll go with the Nginx also. So Nginx, I'll take on one more example where we can uh, do the Docker build. So that is also requirement because I don't want to use a directly Docker image. I want to create my own custom image where I can do some uh, modification. So here we are using the Docker. Uh, file so inside I created one docker directory and there I kept a uh, docker file so you can see this docker file I created I am just copying my index.html to the nginx for taking the demo so this is my uh, sample uh, uh, html file so this docker file we are taking here let's go back to the main and uh, see here we are giving in the build part we are giving explicitly the where we want to take a build so no need to explicitly you have to run the docker build terraform itself internally trigger the build and it will use the same uh, docker image to create the container nginx so it will basically referring the same nginx created the image here so this will basically mapping with the port 80 internal that is a container port and external 80 it's a host port so let's trigger the terraform here so I'm just doing the Terraform plan. So this will create a Docker uh, resources. So it will create two image and two uh, containers. So I'm just doing the apply. In yes. Okay. So this will deploy our two container. Uh, if you see here in the Docker desktop container uh, so it started here the nginx you can see nginx is completed here okay now it's sonar key will started here so nginx is uh, completed here we can do access also so let's uh, try to access nginx till we get the uh, sonar cube okay i'm just opening the local host port mp80 yeah this is actually accessing the our s3 cloud of demo which we have given the uh, indexed HTML file so this build internally and it's copied through the docker file here so, so this is the example of how we can do the custom build with the docker file and we want to use the same image custom image to for a container creation second one is the sonar cube sonar cube is still running so uh, we have to wait for a while so it's still running so both container are running now successfully you can see the nginx container and sonar cube container both are running here the script is also written the successful let's uh, go to the sonar cube access uh, let me just open here we have already opened this nginx so it's still running uh, let me open the sonar cube so sonar cube will open in 9000 port as we mentioned uh, in the port mapping uh, this is basically uh, loading wait uh, we have to wait for some time because just now it's created so it will basically it will uh, take some time to start the service so you can see it's actually doing the inside the request here and the sonar will be taking little more time comparatively uh, nginx so let's wait a while Yeah, so you can see the sonar cube it started here and uh, it's going the sonar cube starting you can see the uh, it's starting the daemon so let's uh, it will prompt the username password for the login so uh, let's wait for a while to just to start this one but uh, overall we have deployed the nginx and sonar cube uh, uh, server here let us have a look once more the code base so i'm just closing this part so code is pretty much straightforward uh, this image we have referring here and container we are creating here okay so image we uh, use the docker file just to make a custom experience where we can have the docker custom file and docker 
uh, image of the custom file. So this basically gives the flexibility to create a Docker file and we can do our custom Docker build. Let's go back here and uh, still it's running. It's starting. I need to show up you that uh, the login part. So let's wait for a while. So my sonar queues is up. You can see now it's for the login form. We can do login using the default password admin admin. Here I'm just doing the login here. I don't know to save. So it, it, it's asking to reset the password. I'm just resetting password here. Okay, that's not zero. So this is the sonar cube dashboard. You can uh, use the sonar cube with the different uh, uh, repositories and based on your configuration you can use the sonar cube for your static code analysis so here it, it gives a different option you can start from the azure pitbucket uh, github gitlab and if you want to use any manually that also you can do so this is all about how we can create our docker uh, container if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day